Kate Mila Falcha, everyone. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, I just some housekeeping rules before we get started. I wanted to let you know that we are recording this session, but your camera will remain off for the duration of the webinar and your microphone is muted as well. Please feel free to ask questions in the Q&A at any time during this session. We may save the questions for the live Q&A after the presentation. Uh, we might answer some questions during, uh, depending on how this goes, but please don't be shy and feel free to utilize that Q&A uh, throughout the entire uh, session. I will officially introduce myself in just a moment, but just to make sure you're all in the right place, this is the University College Dublin information, information session. And we wanna start with a poll, just to kind of see where you all are, uh, what you're most excited about when you finally get to visit Ireland, hopefully if you haven't been before. So we would like to know, what is the first destination on your Ireland bucket list? Is it taking pictures at the Cliffs of Moher? a scenic drive around the Ring of Kerry, experiencing history at the Rock of Cashel, wandering the streets of Dublin, hiking the Wicklow Mountains, or doing the Hoth Cliff Walk. Fun fact, Hoth is in Dublin. Of course, you have to have fish and chips for lunch if you do that. So I'm seeing a lot of really, really great answers coming in. Gonna end the poll. And I'm gonna share the results. It looks like wandering the streets of Dublin is the winner, uh, but there are also a lot of votes for hiking the Wicklow Mountains, uh, scenic drive around the Ring of Kerry. This is amazing. I didn't actually vote in the poll, but I would, if I could answer all of them, I would. I'd probably choose A, taking pictures at the Cliffs of Moher or wandering the streets of Dublin, which is definitely something that I miss doing. So thank you all so much for uh, answering that poll. Um, I definitely, I hope that you'll be able to do all of those things at some point though. All right, next, we just have a quick video and then we'll get started and we'll introduce ourselves and here we go. Thanks, Bridie. A warm UCD welcome awaits you at University College Dublin, Ireland's global university. The first choice destination for international students in Ireland. Where the International Student Society is one of the biggest and most active on campus. Along with over 130 student societies and sports clubs. So you can really get involved and make friends from all over the world where we debate the world's big issues. Where your safety is our priority. Where there's hundreds of acres of space to explore. And we're committed to giving you the best possible campus learning experience. Blended with accessible distance learning tools and options. Where a dedicated global experience team is here to help you get started. And safe modern residences to make you feel at home. Where we're all set to give you a Cade Mila Fudge. Where all that's missing is you. We look forward to welcoming you to your university, University College Dublin. Wonderful. Thanks a million for that, Bridie. Hopefully that gives you a little bit of insight into our campus. Now comes the portion when we all finally introduce ourselves. So my name is Chelsea Weaver and I am the Western Regional Representative. I am based in San Diego, California. Um, if you're based in the Northeast, Carly Harward is your Regional Representative. She's not here today as she is hosting another event. Um, Kendall? Hey everyone, my name is Kendall Hook. I am based in New York City, um, but I work with all of our students in the Mid-Atlantic and Southeast regions. So New Jersey down to Florida, um, I would be your main point of contact. Thanks for coming today. Hi, I'm Bridie Troy. I am located in Chicago and I work with students from the Midwest, mountain regions, and some of the Southern states, as you can see. So if you're from these regions and you have any questions, definitely reach out to me. 
Brilliant. Thank you so much. And we have a very special guest today, Sophia, who is currently finishing up her third year at UCD. She is uh, studying genetics and she is from Illinois originally. So, Sophia, would you like to start with maybe what you like most about UCD, why you chose UCD, and maybe what you love about Dublin as well? Sure, yeah. Um, I chose UCD because uh, my dad is from Ireland and uh, he went to UCD as well. So um, it, UCD was one of my top contenders for college and I managed to get in. Um, I really love the social aspect of UCD. Like that's a really big portion of um, UCD uh, with the societies and clubs. I'm a big, I'm a big part of the societies and stuff. I um, am part of BioSoc. Um, biological society. Um, there's tons of societies to choose from and I, that's my favorite portion of BCD. Um, and then Dublin is so much fun to walk around. There's so much to do. So many stores, so many places like parks. I love um, uh, St. Stephen's Green. Um, that's a great place to visit. So yeah, the parks and stores. Amazing, Sophia. Sorry, I had trouble unmuting there. Thank you so much for that lovely intro, and we will bring Sophia into the conversation uh, throughout the presentation as well. Okay, so I'd just like to start with why Ireland? Why consider studying in Ireland? So first and foremost, Ireland is very safe, friendly, and welcoming. In fact, it is the 10th safest country in the world, according to the Global Peace Index, and Lo Lonely Planet voted Ireland the world's friendliest country as well. It's also a very vibrant place. 50% uh, of the population in Dublin is under the age of 34, so it's really a great city for college students. There's beautiful landscapes, stunning coasts, and vibrant cities. It's also a very accessible city and country. It's English speaking. Yes, Irish is a language, but you do not need to know any Irish to uh, study in Ireland or live there. Um, there's no visa requirement as a full-time undergraduate student from the US, so no immigration paperwork ahead of time. It's very easy to travel the country uh, via bus or train, and we're very well connected to mainland Europe uh, via flights or ferry as well. Now a little bit about why Dublin specifically. It's very student friendly. It was voted one of the top 10 best student cities in the world. And Dublin contains 57% 50 of the total number of international students in Ireland. It's also a modern center for the arts, education, economy, and industry in Ireland and Europe. And we also have about 1,200 multinational companies such as Google, Facebook, Airbnb, TikTok, and more. So it's really a great headquarters for internships and work experience after graduation. We have an international airport, um, which provides a gateway to Europe and the rest of the world. We have two train stations in Dublin and multiple bus routes and access to the ferry in Dublin as well. So as I already said, trains and buses is a really great way to get around Ireland and also to Northern Ireland. Um, there are discounted tickets for students available with a student leap card, which is a student travel card. Um, you can travel outside of Ireland with quick access to Dublin Airport. There is a bus stop on campus at UCD, so it's really easy to get to and from the airport. Uh, flights within Europe can often be affordable on airlines like Ryanair and Aer Lingus. And you can access the UK and France via the ferry if you prefer. So UCD is Ireland's largest campus spanning across over 300 acres. And we are located three miles from the heart of Dublin in the beautiful leafy green suburbs. We are near the Irish Sea and the Wicklow Mountains. So you can see both the Dublin and Wicklow Mountains from our campus. We have representatives in New York, Boston, Chicago, and San Diego. 
and work opportunities in Ireland after graduation. So if you complete your undergraduate degree in Ireland, you will be eligible for a one year graduate stay back visa. UCD is ranked in the top 1% of universities worldwide. And this is important because you want to be sure that you are studying at a fully accredited and internationally recognized university. We're also ranked the number one university in Ireland by US News and World Report for the second year in a row. We are the largest and most international university in Ireland with 19,000 undergraduate students and 29% of our student body is international. We also have the most comprehensive range of degree programs and we're accredited by the world's leading professional organizations. UCD is always supporting employability, um, many internship opportunities for most of our courses. And as I already mentioned, over 1,200 multinational companies based in Dublin, and that number is growing every week. Our campus is very similar to a traditional US college campus with all of the amenities that you're used to seeing in the US, and I'll highlight some of those on the next slide, and various student and academic support services that you would hope to find as well. We have multiple libraries throughout our campus dedicated to different academic disciplines. And UCD is leading in sustainability efforts. We were recently ranked highly in the 2021 Times Higher Education Impact Rankings for sustainability. So we're ranked in the top 25 in the world. As Sophia mentioned, we are known for our clubs and societies. We have over 130 societies and sports clubs. I know Sophia already mentioned um, that she is a part of a few of those. Uh, Sophia, I'm gonna bring you back into the conversation for a minute here. I know you mentioned your societies. How did you find like Freshers Week, your first uh, year at UCD and maybe highlighting some of the other societies or clubs that your friends are a part of? Freshers Week is so much fun. So um, that's the week where there's a huge big tent that they put up uh, near the student center. And you get to go in and look at all the societies and like there, there'll be people at booths and uh, you get to ask them what kind of events they like to do uh, with their societies. And um, you sign up, I think it's like two euro for each, each society. Um, and there's so much food and there's little gifts and knickknacks and things. Um, I, I, so I was on the committee for biological society but you can join like any society just as a member. So um, I know I joined like French society. There was uh, International Student Society. That's a really good one. Um, if you wanna go travel, cause they like to do trips uh, around Ireland sometimes. Um, and oh, there's, there's so many and there's also sports clubs. I know there's even like trampoline and stuff like that. Um, yeah, uh, Freshers Week is so much fun. And then, um, of course, they that's when the societies put out like their big events and you get to go to all their events and see like what kinds of things that they like to do uh, in the societies. And you get to meet tons of friends during those events. I met so many friends um, just with Freshers Week. Um, and of course, um, you don't have to be a freshman uh, to, you know, take part in it like at all. Like even just oh, last year when it was still up, because um, of course we couldn't do it this year. Um, I was going to all these events and getting all that free stuff. So um, yeah, Fresh Week is great, yeah. I love it. One more question for you, Sophia. Um, we had a question come in the chat. Do you feel it is important to join the society of your major? I think it's a good idea um, because um, it's a good way of um, interacting with people that you might not like, like, you know, you'll, you, you'll find people like in your peer mentor group. So when you first come, um, you'll be put into a group of people and you kind of um, walk around campus with them. Um, but uh, uh, joining the society of your major is really good for like finding people within your major that you might not have kind of missed almost like, 
Um, and like, of course, like the society will like make events around that major, um, around like the major that you're picking. So um, I think it's like a really good to engage, like, a good way of engaging with your major um, in a fun way, you know, because, you know, college is sometimes it can be, uh, it can work can pile up and kind of overtake everything. But I think uh, jo joining the society of your major is uh, to like bring the fun back into the, the to your major. Yeah. That's a great way of putting it. Thank you so much, Sophia. That's amazing insight. Really, really appreciate that. So more about the fun of UCD, our beautiful campus with all of the amenities. So as a student, you're gonna have access to our poolside cafe, our on-campus pharmacy, a student union shop, um, a swimming pool, sauna, jacuzzi, cinema, dance studios, debating chamber, of course, a gym drama theater, climbing wall. We also have Ireland's only global lounge, uh, which is where we host many cultural events and activities, and is just generally a really lovely hangout spot for students. All right, I'm gonna hand this over to my colleague, Kendall now, and she's gonna start talking to you about kind of admissions and the application process. Yes, thank you, Chelsea. Um, so to get into a little bit of the logistics, I um, want to highlight that our applications open October 1st. So when you're a senior starting to apply to um, colleges, know that we operate off of this, the same general timeline. So our applications open October 1st, and we do recommend submitting your application no later than December 1st. Um, that is our priority deadline. That doesn't, that doesn't mean that you have to commit to UCD on that December 1st date. Um, you know, you um, are, not, are not committing to anything firm like some of the early action deadlines here. Uh, that really is just a strong suggestion to make sure that you receive your decision back in time to apply for our scholarships that are due in February. So if you apply by December 1st, we can guarantee that you'll get your decision back ahead of that February 1st Global Excellence Scholarship deadline. Um, and I'll touch on scholarships in just a moment. Um, but we technically have rolling decisions through May 1st. So May 1st, actually today, um, is the decision deadline. Um, for many U.S. colleges as well as UCD. So um, we ask students to um, accept or decline their offer by May 1st. Um, but technically, we still do accept applications through the summer um, as long as the program still has capacity. So August 1st is the very last date um, you can apply, but um, December 1st should be the goal date in mind. Um, if you are interested specifically in medicine and vet medicine, those programs in particular do have different deadlines, um, but the vast majority of all other um, applications and programs um, follows the outline that, I that we listed here. So how do you apply to UCD? Um, there are two ways that you can apply. Of course, you can always apply directly on our website, but I do want to highlight the Common App. Special shout out to the Common App because that is going to be probably the easiest way for you to apply because you most likely are going to be um, submitting other Common Applications as well. So when you're in the Common App, you can find UCD and send us all of your application materials that way. Um, vast majority of our U.S. applications come in through the Common App. A big difference between um, UCD and the American admissions process is that we are predominantly academically focused. So we don't have a supplemental essay. Um, we're not going to ask you for your CV or your resume for your extracurriculars. We really are focused in on um, your academics, so your GPA, your school rigor. If you've taken AP um, classes, we would love your AP exams. If you've taken the SAT, ACT, 
um, exams, we would love those as well. Um, so entry requirements for 2021, um, we did have some testing flexibility. So there were some programs where you didn't necessarily have to um, supply those standardized testing results. Um, of course, some programs um, that are direct entry, you would still be a more competitive candidate if you did submit those exam results. So we do encourage you to submit them if you have taken them. Um, of course, they can also help for scholarships as well. Um, but the big, the big takeaway is that we are primarily academically focused um, when it comes to admissions decisions. And we are very transparent on our website as well. So we have a, um, a link that outlines all of our admissions and academic requirements by program. So um, that should be a really helpful guideline for you as you are exploring programs and seeing which one could be a good academic fit for you. All right, so we have two different um, types of programs at UCD. Um, one would be direct entry. That is probably what you might first think of when you think of European universities. So direct entry is when you apply directly to the program that you are most interested in. So it's really for students who know what they want to study. Um, it is set up closer to the European model. Many other universities in Europe um, have this type of direct entry model. Um, and it is highly focused. So you don't have any general education requirements at UCD. So if you're interested in the sciences, you can apply to the sciences and start it right away. Um, you never have to take another English class again if you don't want. Um, of course, at UCD, you do have um, elective spaces, so you can take classes outside of your program. But if you want to be hyper-focused, the direct entry programs will allow you to do that. Um, we do have some three-year programs, but I would say a good majority of our programs are four years in length. Alternatively, if you don't know exactly what you want to do, that's okay. Don't, don't be too concerned. Um, UCD does have a great program called the Liberal Arts and Sciences Program. So this would be an option on the Common App if you wanted, um, along with our direct entry programs. Um, and they, this program is essentially a pathway. And it's for students who are more undecided or trying to decide between colleges. So it affords you some flexibility to explore. So it is set up to reflect um, more closely the American model at UCD. So it is a four-year program. It shouldn't add on any additional time to your degree. But essentially, it gives you that flexibility your first year to explore some classes between colleges um, before deciding what you ultimately want to pursue at the end of year one or year two in a specific college. So um, this program in particular is very popular with our U.S. students. Um, about a quarter of our U.S. students do come into UCD through this pathway. Um, not, every, um, not every subject is accessible through the Liberal Arts and Sciences program, but a vast majority are. Um, this Liberal Arts and Sciences program would be the most flexible for students without any of the standardized testing. UCD offers um, over 70 undergrad degree courses. Um, you can see here the colleges listed, but um, all of the specific programs um, are within these colleges listed here. So there are a lot of options and we have um, a, a vast majority of the types of subjects that you are um, typically used to here in the US. Um, I wanna bring back Sophia. Um, Sophia can talk a little bit about um, her pathway, the sciences, um, when she when she decided to specialize, and um, maybe some of the differences between the U.S. and um, UCD academic system. Yeah. So um, I know for science specifically, you can join uh, a couple ways. 
Um, so you can either like, if you know like, oh, I'm going to do chemistry, you can choose to do a chemistry degree. Or um, like for me, I knew I was gonna do um, a biology degree. So I could choose between um, a biomolecular and biomedical science um, or like an environmental science or that kind of thing. But if you know you're going into science, um, but you're not exactly sure what, like if you, if you don't know about math or chemistry, um, you could choose um, no preference. So you can choose a science degree, but like in your first year, you can choose like modules that um, go across all of these um, um, degrees. Um, with um, between like American colleges, like, um, like Kendall was saying, there's no um, required classes except for core classes that are for your degree. So I know like in first year, I had like a cell biology module and I had um, uh, an organic chemistry module because that was required for my degree. But like, I don't have to do like history and I don't have to do English, but I have those elective um, placements that I can, if I wanted to take English or history or some kind of language, um, I can take a module um, that is one of those, um, a module is a class by the way. Um, <laughs> I can take one of those modules um, as my elective. So yeah, uh, that's, that's the main difference between um, like US University University. Um, Sophia, UCD. Sophia, can you um, talk a little bit about how you're graded? Um, I would say that's probably a big difference as well um, in that um, there aren't as many touch points um, yeah. in, as there may be here in the US and there's, there's more autonomy. Yeah, um, I know with like a lot of my exams are like maybe like 50 or 70 percent of my grade and like there's maybe like kind of big like assignments throughout the semester instead of like little things all throughout the all throughout the class um and then like I know at least I take I have a lot of labs because you know being a science student so like one of my assignments would be like a lab report so I'd write up a lab report and submit that and that'd be like 15 percent of my grades so it's big chunks and um I know like com in comparison to like uh U.S. colleges like usually an A would be like 90 to 100 percent but um in UCD, I think the baseline is sometimes it um, varies between modules because it depends on um, your module coordinator, the person who's running that class. Um, but most of the time, like an A minus will start at like a 70%, and then going up would be so 70 to 100% is an A minus to an A plus, and then it goes down B, C, D through that. Great. Did you find it hard to adjust to? Um, not as many grades, or were there any any tools that you use that help you acclimate to the new system? It was it was. I think it's nicer having less assignments, just because then I know I know that's a personal thing. Um, but like I can just put all of my effort towards you know big big assignments throughout the semester instead of like constantly worrying about oh I I have a small little assignment due Friday and then have a small something due Monday or Tuesday. Um, and that's not to say that those assignments don't exist. Um, I, Cause I know um, like a lot of times um, modules will have like a set kind of uh, quiz to do maybe every week on a Friday, but usually that's not, that doesn't happen, happen very often. Um, so yeah, I think so um, having like bigger assignments is good because you can put a lot of your effort towards like those assignments that you know will like count a lot towards your grade. Um, it can be a bit daunting, but I think having a, a good set schedule um, and laying out, because they'll tell you uh, at least um, around when um, those assignments will be due. Like they'll say, we're, we're going to have an essay due week six or week eight of the 12 in the semester. Um, so you can kind of set a schedule and be like, okay, I need to start this assignment, you know, at least two weeks before the due date, and I'll have it done then. Um, and that, that's that been really key, at least for me, throughout um, my three years here at UCD. So, yeah. Awesome. Thank you, Sophia. I think that's very helpful insight because that change in academic system can, can sound daunting, you're right, but um, that explanation 
um, certainly helps make it sound not as not as scary. <laughs> it's not scary. It's not scary. All right, so we do have um, some highlights for you about the different colleges at UCD. Um, so first up is the College of Arts and Humanities, and you can see that each college is made up of schools. So these are the schools that are housed within Arts and Humanities. Um, UCD does have a difference between a BA Arts degree and a BA Humanities degree. Um, so within these schools, there's lots of different options, um, but definitely want to highlight that Dublin is a UNESCO city of literature. Um, English literature and creative writing is definitely very popular at UCD. Um, we have the James Joyce Library. So UCD is a, an, excellent, um, an excellent school for literature. Um, for the College of Arts and Humanities, the programs do have an optional year abroad. So schools have um, relationships with different universities across the world. Um, so through the Arts and Humanities programs, depending on the program that you're in, um, there are different programs that you can choose from to spend your time abroad again um, and experience a, another new culture throughout your time at UCD. Um, and then through the College of Arts and Humanities, there is an option to do joint majors. So you can study more than one subject at a time through the College of Arts and Humanities. The College of Business. Um, UCD has a fabulous College of Business. Um, it is Ireland's leading business school. Um, and we are one of the few schools to hold what's called the Triple Crown of Accreditation from the Centers of Business in Europe, the US, and the UK. So that means that if you graduate with a business degree from UCD, it is going to be recognized across the world. Um, and then the Bus College of Business um, also has that optional year abroad. Um, and then we listed the four specific majors um, within the College of Business for our undergrad students. And of these four, I would say the most common one is the, or the most popular one is the Bachelor of Science in Business. Love it. Thanks, Kendall. All right. Thank you, guys. A little bit about the College of Engineering and Architecture. So we have an omnibus engineering program, uh, which is basically means that all students enter through a gen general engineering pathway in year one and begin with common coursework across all streams of engineering. And then you kind of choose to specialize a little bit later. Um, with architecture, we have a BSc architecture, landscape architecture, and city planning and environmental policy. Um, for the college, you will have access to studio space on day one. So absolutely hands-on opportunities throughout your college experience. Also an internship placement option. And we have the largest and most comprehensive engineering and architecture college in Ireland. College of Health and Agricultural Sciences. So we have agricultural sciences, food sciences, medicine, physiotherapy, sports sciences, biomedical health and life science, radiography, and we have the only veterinary medicine program in Ireland. Um, so we have undergraduate professional programs available, which means that these courses are really training you to become a professional right after graduation. So you can become a fully qualified doctor six years out of high school, and a fully qualified veterinary, uh, veterinarian five years out of high school. Um, you have an opportunity to have a clinical placement in Ireland, Europe, and or North America, and of course, very much hands-on experience in these programs. All right, I'm gonna hand this over to my colleague Bridie now. Great, thank you so much, Chelsea. Um, so I'm very happy to be talking about the College of Social Sciences and Law. Um, our College of Social Sciences and Law is the leading center for education and research in the social sciences in all of Ireland. It has been internationally ranked and internationally accredited by agencies throughout Europe, the US, and across the world. 
As you can see, we have a really wide range of degree programs, ranging from economics to law to psychology and beyond. One great aspect of studying in the UC College of Social Sciences and Law is the opportunity to study as a joint major or minor. Um, this may seem pretty obvious, like, yeah, study a joint major, but it's pretty unique for a European institution to offer this, so we're really proud of it. Um, these can be joint degrees through each of the schools listed on the right, um, and the upper, er, on the left, and the opportunities are really vast, so you can kind of search to find your own passion and create a degree that's perfect and unique for yourself. Additionally, we do offer undergraduate professional degrees, just as Chelsea was mentioning in the Health and Agricultural College. So these professional degrees could be in psychology, social work, or law, and you can earn your accredited degree within three to four years. Um, just as a reminder, these degrees are accredited in the US, so you will be able to bring this back to the United States and work as a psychologist, as a lawyer, and so on. Um, there are quite a few uni unique opportunities in the College of Social Sciences and Law. Um, one really great thing that they offer is the three or four year direct entry versus liberal arts options. So definitely something to look into. Um, great. Now the College of Science. Uh, the UC College of Science offers quite a few different courses. And I know Sophia talked about this a lot. She's a great uh, resource for this because she's, you know, a current student of the College of Science. So when you apply to UCD, you'll apply under the Science Omnibus, and this will let you choose between biology, chemistry, or sciences, etc. Um, one amazing opportunity that the U.S. College of Science offers is a really strong research element. So UCD is the number one college for publications in Ireland. And we are very unique in that respect. Uh, we have quite a few opportunities for undergraduate students to publish their papers, which will look really good on your CV, your resume, and any further study. Additionally, we offer really extensive lab experience and a lot of hands-on opportunities. We also have a lot of internship opportunities that are connected with some of the main research and development companies in Europe that are located in Dublin. We also have a brand new course in sustainability that is already earning international recognition. Um, earlier in this presentation, Chelsea talked about how we are in the top 25 campuses for sustainability in the world. And this program really kind of capitalizes on that and offers you the opportunity to study sustainability into a future lifelong career. Thank you. Um, so I often hear many people worrying about the price tag of studying overseas. And honestly, it is very price comparable to a US university. Over 80% of our international students do receive a scholarship from UCD. Um, and these are merit-based scholarships. They come in the form of partial scholarships that are automatically awarded based on your initial application materials. So these scholarships are rolling and you will be eligible for them at the time that you receive your offer. So whether you apply right when the applications open in October or if you apply in July before you start your degree, uh, you will still be just as eligible for the scholarship based on your initial uh, applications. Um, so our second scholarship is highly competitive and this one requires a separate application. So the scholarship is worth 50 to 100% of your tuition and requires you to act as a UCD ambassador. So to be eligible for this scholarship, you must apply to UCD by December 1st, as Kendall highlighted, and then you'll get your decision in time to apply for the scholarship deadline of February 1st. Um, we do accept US financial aid. We are on the FAFSA. So when you're filling out the FAFSA, just input UCD school code, and that ensures that we will get your information. We accept direct loans, plus loans. We also accept the GI Bill, the VA Bill, and post 9-11 benefits. Um, we do also accept private loans and outside scholarships if they do transfer overseas. Um, as I mentioned, the tuition is fairly price comparable to a US school. Um, I always like to say we're probably the cost of maybe an out-of-state public school but uh, you know, less expensive than a private school in the US. And then once you account for all of our scholarships, we're oftentimes less expensive than an out-of-state public school. Um, so depending on your degree program, it, our tuition ranges between 22 to $28,000 uh, per year. And the year that you enter, with the exception of medicine or veterinary medicine, the year that you enter, your tuition will stay the same. So we're not gonna hike 
tuition up during your degree. Um, whatever's listed on your offer letter, that is what you'll be paying for the four years. Great. Um, and now the question that is on everybody's mind, um, what's going on with COVID? So just as a little bit of background, um, U.S. and Canadian students have always been welcome to Ireland, even when the most restrictive bans happened in continental Europe, Ireland remained open to North American students and always to degree seeking students. Um, testing Ireland for students with symptoms of COVID um, is completely free and any COVID related medical and hospital care is completely free. So if on the off chance you were to get sick while in Ireland, your care would be taken care of. Um, regardless in your of your status in Ireland, if you are referred for a test or come down with so symptoms of COVID, your treatment costs are fully covered. That is just one less thing to worry about. Um, UCD has several supports created for our international students. Um, understanding that their support network might be quite far away, so students are welcome to live on campus throughout their last the last year. Accommodation was made available for each start of term for our South isolation period, um, although we don't foresee them that being a requirement this year, it still is an option. Um, transportation for new students to campus was arranged and our resources for students, physical and mental health on campus were really ramped up. We offered a 24 hour wellness text line. We have an on-campus doctor, an on-campus nurse and an on-campus psychiatrist to help you with any um, needs you might have. Uh, so the vaccine rollout in Ireland has been very forward looking. As of right now, they have vaccinated one in four adults and are expecting the majority of the country to be vaccinated by September or October. So it's looking very optimistic. Um, additionally, we are seeing some great reopening measures right now and a return to the Dublin that we all know and love. Great, so I absolutely love talking about accommodation at UCD because it is so very different from what we see in movies and on TV. So it's not going to be five people in a dorm room living in bunk beds. Um, at UCD, every single person living on campus gets their own private bedroom in an apartment style residence. So you'll be sharing a kitchen and a bathroom with maybe three or four other students, but this isn't huge community living. You really get to know your flatmates and you get to kind of live in more of like an intimate community, but you still have your own bedroom. Um, we do have guaranteed housing for incoming international students. So when you're applying to UCD, uh, if you apply within those uh, deadlines, then you will you can guarantee that you will be living on campus. It's a great way to get to know campus. It's a great way to get to know Dublin your first year. I always recommend incoming students to live on campus. We do have rooms for over 3000 students. We are building brand new residences that should be ready by the time you all get to UCD. So we're looking at adding another thousand rooms. Um, but definitely, if you don't believe me with how great these residence, uh, residences are, check out our virtual tours online. Um, you can also see the rates and payments there. A lot of our accommodation is much less expensive than you might expect to pay at a US-based school. And now I'm gonna pass it back to Chelsea just to close us up and open the Q&A. So I see we already have really great questions in the Q&A right now, but keep asking them. Yeah, fabulous. I'm loving watching the questions come in the Q&A and we're gonna get to those in just a second, but I just wanted to highlight that we are on all forms of social media. So definitely follow us for more updates on UCD just to kind of get a sense of maybe events on campus uh, over the next year and anything else that we might have planned because we do like to host a lot of virtual webinars to give you all of the information that you are looking for. So again, thank you so much for joining us and we are going to dive right into the Q&A now. If you have any questions, please reach out to North America at ucd.ie.